Hey everybody, Adrian here with BlendRecommender.com. I'm smoking a bulk blend today, McClellan uh, 5100 Red Cake, which is a ribbon cut Red Virginia, and uh, it's a blend of different Red Virginia so they can keep it consistent uh, year after year. And it's consistently very good. Um, and if you have not tried, if you've not had it, um, you might be surprised uh, at its availability. Check a local brick and mortar, a lot of times it'll be renamed <clears throat> like uh, a lot of other bulk blends are um, in, in tobacco shops. So ask your tobacconist if uh, they carry 5100 Red Cake. It's possible that it's just renamed there locally. So um, I love to blend with this one. Um, when I refer to uh, Red Virginia's in a blend, it's almost always going to be 5100 uh, Red Cake. Just an excellent, excellent blend. And I wanted to talk a little bit about... Um, it's monochromatic, but not in a bad way. Um, and if you want to pick out uh, the different component or uh, the different tastes within this straight uh, Red Virginia blend, or not a blend, but uh, tobacco, something that I've been working on um, is is what Greg Peace uh, has described as chewing the smoke. And so. Make sure my pipe is still lit there. Um, it, so your tongue has uh, you know taste buds all over, but they're geared up to taste different flavors depending on where they are on your tongue. Uh, up towards the front, you're going to pick up uh, more sweetness uh, out of foods and what you drink. Same thing goes with uh, smoke. So if you have the pipe right there in front of your mouth, you're going to be able to pick up more of the sweetness of a blend and especially like with an aromatic or a, you know a real sweet Virginia because Virginias have such a high sugar content um, myself personally and I think uh, probably a lot of folks it, it's just comfortable and natural to clinch a lot further back you know uh, in your jaw and while the smoke does disperse, um, you know, and, and move around your mouth, it's initially hitting those taste buds there at the back of the tongue that are going to be uh, geared up more towards tasting um, savory. So with this blend, I have, uh, you know, I, I mainly I get a little bit of sweetness, but because uh, I typically get uh, just a slight salty brininess, uh, I've always associated it with being a little bit more savory as far as Virginias go. And I think that uh, probably just because of where I am uh, placing the pipe in my mouth. Now, uh, I want to talk a little bit about Red Virginias. It's not a different uh, type of Virginia. It's not uh, you know distinct from some of the brighter like uh, lemon um, Virginias that you you get more of a grassy, sharp um, hay, and a lot of times even a sweeter. Um, flavor from. Uh, so think of like uh, the brighter Virginias like you'd see in a, an Orlick Golden Slice. Same type of Virginia tobaccos, it's just that they are flu cured uh, for a lot less time than a red Virginia. So the longer you flu cure a Virginia tobacco, the darker the color is going to be. And, and what that does is some of that sweetness recedes uh, the longer it's flu cured and uh, it, the tobacco becomes a little bit more complex uh, a little more, um, I, I guess, softer around the edges. And in the case of, uh, you know, an aged Red Virginia, you're going to, to get uh, more of like a bready, yeasty type uh, flavor to it. Uh, it's delicious, love it. Um, you know, you'll see that, uh, you know, a lot of uh, McClellan Christmas cheers have been prominently or predominantly Red Virginia. Um, I love their Red and Black with Red Virginias and then Stowe Virginias. Um, but flu cured means that uh, the barn literally has been heated from the outside and, and chan the, the hot air is channeled into the barn. And, and so it evenly disperses throughout the barn as opposed to a heat source directly there in contact with the tobacco. So in the old day, they would have fire boxes on the outside wall of the barn and they would stoke that with coal or wood. Uh, and they would be able to regulate the inside temperature of the barn. And so over a course of days or possibly weeks, um, you know, they would uh, slowly let the chlorophyll uh, recede in um, the tobacco that's hanging up in the barn uh, and it would cure it. Uh, and so if you just leave it in there a short while, you're going to get those lighter colors. 
leave it in there for longer, you're going to get a deeper orange and then red uh, color from the Virginias and the corresponding flavors. So hope that's helpful. I know it has certainly been helpful to me uh, in order to kind of develop my palate and try to tease out some of the flavors and blends. Um, but uh, yeah, so 5100 uh, Red Cake by McClellan. It's an excellent bulk blend. It's one that I, I keep in my rotation and I highly recommend that you try it as well. Uh, until uh, next time, enjoy your pipes. Have a great day.